right, man, we back. Good fella, Sports TV. And uh, got some news coming in. Julio Jones is now the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL on the day when Antonio Brown is the biggest fool in the NFL. Appreciate everybody for checking back in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Share, share, share the video. It's the best way um, to help the channel out. But Julio get a fully guaranteed three-year extension that ties him to the Dirty Birds for five years. Okay, he get a three-year extension for sixty-six million dollars, um, which sixty-four of the million dollars are guaranteed are are guaranteed at signing. So you know he gets sixty-four right up front, but the whole extension is a fully guaranteed extension. And Arthur Blank kept his word. He promised Julio he was gonna pay him. It took a long time uh, for that. To materialize um, all offseason, past training camp, one day before the game. And it was some questions if Julio was going to play. Um, he said he may or may not play. But I figured they would get the deal done right before they played the Minnesota Vikings tomorrow. Atlanta uh, in the Pro Bowl, according to Adam Scheffner right here, right on the screen. And Pro Bowl receiver Julio Jones reached an agreement on a landmark three-year, 66 a million extension that includes $66 million guaranteed, 64 of which are due at signing bonus, at signing. Sources tell more than me. It ties them together for uh, the two sides for the next five seasons. So um, I think, yeah, this contract made him the highest paid receiver. So, you know, congratulations to Julio. You know, when you look at guys like AB and, and the fool that he is, it make you appreciate guys like Julio who just go out there, do their job, don't bitch, don't complain. He didn't hold out. He didn't cry. He believed in he believed in the uh, Arthur Blank, the owner. He believed in the organization. They took care of him. And you know what? When you got Matt Ryan throwing you ducks all the time, they better pay Julio Jones. You know, and it's unfortunate that guys like Julio and Zeke and other positional skilled guys, you know, it's unfortunate that they got to beg for their money. They got to sit out and they got to cry and pound for their money. And miss training camp for their money. And quarterbacks just know they're going to get their money. That got to change. You know what I'm saying? But Julio is probably the one or two or three third best receiver in the NFL. And what probably keep him from being the best is due to, you know, his lack of touchdowns in the red zone, which has just been a, a offensive schematic standpoint. They haven't adjusted to how people guard Julio in the end zone for two years. You know, it's been two straight seasons they haven't made that adjustment. All right. Maybe getting Devontae Freeman back will open up, you know, open up the red zone and open up for Julio more. But they got Sanu, okay. They got, you know, Calvin Ridley. They got Austin Hooper who came into his own. And ain't no more excuses for Matt Ryan, you know. And if you don't know, I picked the Atlanta Falcons to go to the Super Bowl in my preview, uh, my preview of NFL live stream I did. And I'll do a live stream breaking down each week, every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the playlist is NFL Live, and I got a regular NFL playlist, so check that out. Um, both are in our playlist. But, um, yeah, I picked the Falcons to meet the Chiefs. I know it's a little bit different. People say I'm tripping, but just went on the edge there. You know, nobody, it's rare that you write <laughs> predicting a Super Bowl winner in the beginning of the year. But, um, you know, Julio deserved it, you know. And if Julio chose to uh, hold out, if they didn't get this uh, thing done before Sunday, I want to see how my Ryan would look without Julio Jones. But he getting Freeman back. They should be able to run the ball a lot better. Um, and I think that's going to open up um, the red zone for Julio. With Austin Hooper, Calvin really be a, little, a year better. Muhammad Sanu is a beast in the slot. I look for Atlanta to do some big things, and I picked them to win Sunday. I'm not a Falcon fan, and I had nothing against Atlanta. I've been down to Atlanta, stayed there for a second in the area, so it's nothing against them. But congratulations to Julio. He deserved it. On a day where Antonio Brown just threw 30, around 30 million away, Julio Get sixty four million at signing of a sixty six year extension. So shout out to him, man. Be smart with the money, you know. Um, you don't, you know, invest it. He seemed like a good, well mannered guy. And I remember one of the dudes I went to college with. Um, he was on Julio Jones highlight tape, and he was dragging him like ten yards into the end zone on his jersey. It was the funniest thing I ever ever seen, man. So. <laughs> It was funny. So everything I think Julio, I think of him dragging that boy in the end zone. So shout out to Julio. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, a video request. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support. One, make a donation. The link's in the description. And keep sharing, sharing the videos. Let me know what you think about Julio. Big deal. I'll link the article. Link in the description. We gone.